work. Let's bring in the CEO of the Lawfare Project, human rights attorney Brooke Goldstein, and the executive vice president of Concerned Women for America, Annabelle Rutledge. Thank you both for coming on. I want to go back. I want to play this soundbite, if I can, for you, Brooke. This is Massachusetts Rep Jake uh, Oshenklaus, uh talking about Harvard University. Watch this. Harvard University has spent the last five years with cancel culture as the dominant norm on its campus. And now that anti-Semitism has flared up, it has decided to embrace free speech principles. I mean, he's right there. You go back and you misgendering was, was called violence at Harvard last year, and now genocide is free expression, Brooke. Yes, you know, JFK once said that leadership and learning are indispensable to one another. And the truth is right now, there is a total deficit in our leadership and also in our institutes of higher learning. They are completely mm -hmm. morally bankrupt. And I want to thank you, Trace, for highlighting this issue of the radicalization happening on college campuses, the anti-Semitism that's happening, because just today, the Lawfare Project filed a groundbreaking lawsuit against yeah. Carnegie Mellon University, which just so happens to be one of the largest recipients of foreign funding from Qatar. And we all know Qatar is connected to Hamas. So the question really yep. is, what is the relationship between foreign funding and the radicalization on college campuses? Yeah, it's a great question. I want to talk a little bit more about that lawsuit, Brooke, in a second. But I want to bring in Annabelle, if I can, because The Hill wrote the following here, Annabelle. House launches email address to report college anti-Semitism amid investigation. What do you think of the House launching this? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? What's, what's your takeaway? Yeah, well, I echo Brooke in thanking you, Trace, for highlighting this issue. And listen, any effort on behalf of Congress to step in and curb this blatant anti-Semitism that is becoming rampant across our nation with over a f an almost 400 percent increase in anti-Semitic acts mm -hmm. since October 7th alone. So I applaud their efforts, but at the same time, I do think we need to zoom back a little bit and continue to put the heat on these colleges and these institutions directly. I mean, these are yeah. our elite so-called institutions of education in America. And this has been an ongoing problem for a long time, this breeding anti-American sentiment, even at yeah. these colleges. But when you have blatant support for terrorism and praising of Hitler as a collegiate norm, that's a problem. However, it is a I will say, you know, there. Go ahead. Go. No, I was just going to I was going to yeah, hold that thought because I want to get Brooke and bring her back in here because you are, as we know, we kind of said this at the beginning, Brooke, the CEO of the Lawfare Project, we just filed this suit you talked about against Carnegie Mellon University on behalf of a Jewish student. My question to you is, what is the goal? I get the justice part of this whole thing, Brooke. What are you hoping to remedy with this suit? We hope, first and foremost, to shed a light on what exactly is the contractual relationship between the foreign government of Qatar and Carnegie Mellon University, because no yeah. doubt that the millions and millions, half a billion dollars went into influencing the fact that they weren't dealing with the radicalization and the anti-Semitism on the college campuses. Second, no. and I think even equally, if not more important, is to remedy, to create the systemic change that we need to see to get rid of this radicalization, to make no. sure that Jewish students, their civil rights are protected, mm -hmm. that they have equal protection under the law. This is of no. utmost importance. And I got to go. I've got about 15 seconds, Annabelle. I, I want to know about this rash. We did a story on it, the rash of menorahs being vandalized across the country. Is there a takeaway from that for you very quickly? I think it just shows the moral bankruptcy, as, as was already pointed out. But, you know, it's not always that good news gets shared. And I do want to say, you know, Concerned Women for America has Young Women for America leaders across this nation who have been yeah. standing up on campuses, 10 different campuses, praying and, and, and showing their support for the Jewish students yep. and saying there is a remnant of people who are willing to have your back on this issue. Yeah. Annabelle, Brooke, uh, great to have you both on. Thank you. Well, coming up, Brett Baer sits down with family.